Welcome back, folks. I'm I'm finally back at it, out here in the woods, working on the uh, the wooden workshop. And it's one. It's a little warm today. It's been warm for the last several weeks. Uh, I was really hoping to have this done by now, but that hasn't been the case. And uh, unfortunately, that also means that these have had quite a bit of time to dry out, and they're probably not going to be very flexible. I'm going to take these off. I've got some some uh well i'll show you here in a minute i got a way i'm going to bring them together but in order to bring them together i got to get up there which means i got to take them off so i can rig stuff up anyway i don't know if these are going to flex enough to actually bring them together if that's the case i'm going to end up throwing them in the water and letting them soak for i don't know probably at least till next weekend we'll see um I don't know if I, I've never done that before. I don't know how long if that'll be enough time. But I've got plenty of other projects to keep me busy until then. But for now, I'm going to take these down, rig up my uh, my pulleys, and put them back up and see if we can get these to join together or not. That screw just stripped right out. Oh, oh no, that is nasty. That, that is disgusting. All right, for reference, that, that little star pattern there is what it's supposed to look like. And it's all stripped out. That is a long, that is a lot of screw to pull out. Um, the plan is I'm going to try to get it out with vice grips, and if not, if I, oh, sorry, messing up the camera, sorry. If I can't get that out with vice grips, I'm going to have to come up from down here and cut it with a saw. Uh, yuck. Yuck. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time. Will it even turn? All right, y'all. I'll be back. This is, I'm going to be here a little while. All right. I mean, that, that wasn't as bad as I thought, but still, it's... Yeah. I hate when that happens. Um, probably was caused by me not getting that driver down in there far enough, so... Totally my fault, but man... Just annoying to have to deal with. So here's how I'm going to get these two to come together. These guys right here. It's a couple of pulleys, a few bucks at the hardware store. I'm going to be using tarred twine to hold these on. And then I got parachute cord here, which is probably not the best cordage for the task of pulling them together, but it will work and it's something I have on hand, so I don't have to go buy anything. So let's start with these guys. Now this stuff, this tarred twine here, I have not been able to find this in the northeast. You got it all over the south. Um, I suspect I can't find it up here because this was used for uh, trot lines, turtle traps, and uh, jug fishing was what I saw it used for all the time when I was growing up. And all of those are illegal as all get out up here. So I suspect that's why you can't find it. But all it is, it's a, a, a nylon twine with a little bit of tar on it. So it, it ties really well. You tie a knot in that and it does not want to come undone. Um, I'm going to go through one, skip one as I'm, I'm tying this on. I, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, by the way. And then through again. And the, the whole point is when I tighten this up, all these ones that I've, I've skipped here are going to tighten up around this and it won't slip off. Do, 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 do. 
do do. Three through, four through. We go a couple more. All right. Ten times around, five of them through that um, that eye on the pulley. Nothing fancy, I'm just gonna do a square knot over here. So there's one. You can you see the tar here is kind of keeping it together, just kind of kind of sticking that uh, to itself, which is what it's supposed to do. You tie a knot and the stuff; it does not want to come undone at all, um, as opposed to parachute cord, which is actually kind of slick. And even worse are some of your um, whether the ar aramid fiber uh, synthetic lines, like your if you if you're into fish and spider wire that kind of stuff. Man, that, that's the opposite end of the extreme. Like you have to know special knots and and um, sometimes just super glue your knots afterwards because that stuff does not want to take a knot at all. Uh, my brother brought me this stuff that's a, it's a throw line. So you, like he'll use it for uh, for going camping and you, you throw this stuff up at a tree and then you haul up a bear bag. Well, I'm, I'm looking to use, I'll probably end up using some of it for that. But uh, I will also end up using that for a uh, to throw a radio antenna up in a tree. And same thing though, it does not want to tie a knot to save its life. This this uh, tarred twine is pretty much the opposite extreme. You can tie just about any kind of knot, and even if you're one of those people. And I hate this expression. If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Man, with with this tarred twine stuff, you. You just about can get away with that. Oop, I'm getting caught on my tripod. Nope. Nope. I forgot I was supposed to be skipping some. Let me undo this. All right. One through. And I just I pulled out too much twine. There we go. One through. One knot through. One through. <clears throat> one knot through. But not one knot through. <sighs> All this heat's getting to me. <laughs> One knot through. 
one through the eye. What do we got? Three. One around. It's four. That's going to be just about right. Five. All right. Let's see if that works. And again, just tying this off with a square knot. It's a little looser than the other one, but it should work just fine. As I tighten this up, it'll um, it should snug this um, all these pieces that I didn't go through the eye. It should tighten that against this, so it wouldn't slip up and down here. All right. So for the parachute cord. I'm doing two things with this, okay? This is gonna be, both of these gonna be way up in the air, and I can pull down. So what I need is these, these two to go together, but the only direction I can pull is down. So check this out. If all I did was to tie this off and hook it to one of these pulleys, I could then pull down, and with the exact same force that I'm pulling down, I could pull them together. But because I've selected some pulleys, that have more than one um, uh, pulley on them, what I can do is I can multiply the force that I'm pulling with by adding more distance of the line. So you, you, I have to pull a lot m longer of a line, but I can pull with more force, is the way that works. So I gotta go through here, through here, Pull some of this out. Through here. Through here again, and now, where I've got all four of my pulleys occupied, I'm gonna tie this off. I'm actually gonna tie this off underneath here. Um, what knot do I want to use? Go the taut line hitch, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to tie that and run it right up against the, uh, yeah, right up against the, um, Yeah, why is my brain not working? This heat, y'all. This heat. It's not even that hot. That's what kills me. Um, right up against this pole. I'm going to tighten that up. As I, as I put these up, I'm going to have to loosen this. So I'm going to spool out a whole bunch of this parachute cord here. Time to put them up and see how this goes. Oh. 
Okay, change of plans, I guess. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's raining. I don't particularly care to work on this project in the rain. Yeah, I think I might pack it in. Ah, nuts. All right, y'all, let's talk lessons learned from last time. One of which being I put this too far up. The other one being I had, I had gotten a little too crazy on the attachment for this. I don't think I needed something to... I don't think I needed it to be quite as uh, rugged as I thought I did. So this time, I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to take this just uh, looped over or in, in knot tie in terms they call this a, a bite, B-I-G-H-T. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that around it once through and then around again. We'll take one of these. Put that through. So we'll come back and we'll tie this right here in a square knot. I think that is going to give me enough that I'll be able to pull these together. I don't see that breaking. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Try it out. Be right back I don't know if y'all can see this but there is just right here there is just a little tiny bit of overhang that uh, is messing me up well yeah there you can see it so right right there is where I'm supposed to attach that and up above it is just just enough of an overhang that I need to address it that's just annoying oh goodness oh goodness Break that. Well, it's in there now. Just broke the head on that screw. 
But I don't know. It is what it is, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Again, again with the breaking the heads on those things. I don't even know if it's gonna hold anything. <sighs> well, in that case, it is now time to crawl up underneath there and put these two together. goes Let's try that. that get all snap crack and poppy over here. Oh, come on. Oh, we got that underhang. Overhang, underhang. Anyway, we've got it again. I'm just going to go with it. I am just going to go with it. Oh. 
Okay, y'all. How? How did I not think of this earlier? You know that guy was on Joe Rogan, kind of, it became the meme, uh, said, like, I'm, you know, to be honest, I'm a little retarded. That's, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now, because this is, uh, I don't know, I feel like I should have known this, or thought of this right from the get-go. Put a screw, put a screw in the bottom, and you can just hang the rope on it, and it doesn't go anywhere. Wow. Oh, man. I feel stupid. Not gonna lie. Anyway, back to work. Alright, y'all. Last one. Apologies for, uh, for not showing you the setup on this one. It was just like the others though, so it was deja vu all over again. Um, yeah, the camera battery died again. I know, I need to get more camera batteries. It's like a little signs from the universe thing. Hey, buy more camera batteries. Anyhow, come on over here. Um, it is what it is, and uh, this is my last one. I'm ready to call it a day. I tell you what, I'm. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, y'all. There it is. Uh, there's still a lot to add. I've got um, right here in the middle. We're gonna have a, a horizontal beam going across there. Uh, we're gonna have one on either side at at very least. I'm actually looking at at uh, one of the things I I wanted to do is put cross beams going this way on each of these uh, maybe not the last one or two so maybe not the last half of them no, I don't know anyway to take that and then put some of those pallet tops on there to make some overhead storage that I can put stuff up on top of we'll see how that happens uh, see if it happens how that goes what have you um, all told I'm I'm pretty happy I know it doesn't look like much for uh, you know, as far as what got done, I'm not, I'm not super happy that they didn't, um, they didn't bow more. It does look a little more A-frame-ish than I like. I wanted it to, I wanted these pieces to bend, and they, they really didn't. And I don't know, you know, had I worked these green, greener, um, would they have bent more? I don't know. Maybe. Did I need to get them thinner? Maybe. At the same time, it's uh, it's a balancing act between how thin do I want to get these, and then, you know, this this uh, thick PVC tarp I'm putting over them is pretty heavy duty. It's therefore heavy. So you know how how much strength do I want to have in these? But either way, you can you can definitely see the skeleton, the the frame of this thing coming together, and that is exciting. So with that, I am I am pretty much done for the day, which is good because I am I'm running out of daylight here, and uh, we'll sign off saying go out, you know, get out there, do cool stuff, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other. All right, till next time.